I gathered some information regarding this particular thermal sensor here and from what I can conclude it cuts off at 115 degrees Fahrenheit now I don't know how in the world this ever worked perhaps it never did but there's no way that this portion of the heater right there an inch away from the element is going to remain under 115 degrees during operation that's completely ridiculous so what we're going to do is just remove it because I, I don't understand it and it doesn't seem like it was ever destined to work so we're gonna do this and some will say oh, that's dangerous well you know what the old ones like the Lakewood 300 for instance never had a thermal cut off there's never a problem use, use it with common sense and everything will be fine so that's what we're gonna do now if, the other thing that's worth noting is that the thermostat is right there within the unit so if there was really a malfunction like let's say the fan stopped and it did start to heat up inside that temperature gauge that's over here which would be you know with this assembled it's very close to the element this would cut off if, if the thing was really to overheat anyways so this was was just redundant and now that I'm thinking about it I should have I should have cut it all the way back here I don't know why I didn't do that well anyways it is what it is I'm gonna put it back together and we'll have a good working heater I'm gonna have to redo this on video because I'm gonna get somebody that's got something to say about the way this was done and unfortunately they'd be kinda correct because uh, that was not correct I'm gonna cut it here and pull this wire out that's better now all the junctions are there they're out of place and they will not hit into the fan because it goes uh, to the left of the fan. So now we'll have a good working heater.